So this morning, what came up was my relationship with receiving. And it started from last night when I was in a new moon ceremony with my friend, Mariam. Uh, I think with Terence Strong and it's titled Luna Magic, Luna something magic, money magic. And it was on um, our relationship with wealth and our relationship with money. So she was expressing that our relationship with money is not different from our relationship with ourselves and with our relationships, other relationships. Um, so when we were tasked to write what our financial goals are, mine were very clear. Um, and then we were also tasked to write what do we want to feel when we are uh, when we have achieved these goals, like if right now she were to come to me with a check uh, with for how whatever amount that I need so that I can purchase my house here in Melbourne, um, how would I feel? And it was very, um, it was very, I think, automated, aut autopiloted, like the feelings would be of like a lightness, radiance, vibrance, abundance, comfort, safety, security, um, etc. All these beautiful, beautiful, shimmering feelings. And this morning when I woke, it dawned on me that underneath all of that, how I really want to feel is received. And um, it's like, when I get this, 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 I'm being received. Or when I finally am there, then I feel received. And it's not received by anyone else, but it's received by myself. So it's just dawning on me like, how am I perhaps not yet fully receiving myself such that Underneath all of these goals, there is a deep craving, a deep desire to feel received, to feel good enough, to feel um, deserving of the feelings of safety, security, comfort, home. And I don't think like with this recognition, it's so much about like, okay, then how can I already create these feelings inside of me now? But it's more of, where in my life am I not yet fully receiving myself? Where within my psyche is there more opportunity to receive myself even deeper? So when I was being with the feeling of being received earlier and I was sensing into it, um, the feeling was like, oh, when I'm received, I feel loved, I feel wanted, I feel so secure, I feel important, I feel like I matter and I'm worthy. Um, and it's like, again, all these like shimmering, beautiful feelings. And what came up earlier was that it's beyond that. It's like when I am feeling lousy, when I'm feeling so about myself, when I'm feeling down, when I'm feeling in despair, when I'm feeling confused or like um, when I'm going through an experience of maybe shame or judgment of myself, can I receive those parts too? Because those parts are a part of my whole universe, you know? And it's not just receiving um, the beautiful things, but it's receiving the things that are traditionally, <laughs> normally hard to receive. Like, And then there was a moment where I just allowed myself to be with like the feeling of conflict within me, the feeling of confusion within me, the feeling of despair. And as I really let myself mm, accept like this is where I'm at right now. And this is exactly how I'm feeling right now. There is that felt reciprocity of like, I'm expressing to myself and I'm receiving to myself what I'm expressing as opposed to judging myself like you are still here, you know, like, um, you know, judging that I'm still here after 
all of the work that I've done and all of the everything that I already know um, I shouldn't be feeling this way but that is rejecting myself and it's rejecting my truth it's rejecting like in this moment this is how i feel and then it goes back to like unconditional love and radical acceptance like then that is not a practice of being unconditional towards myself so yeah it was such a profound moment of deepening into what it means to be receiving myself and what it means to be able to have that capacity to hold to hold the more intense feelings that are uncomfortable and receiving these expressions um, and recognizing this is what it means to feel received when I am receiving myself and then um, translating it into the the ability to be received from moment to moment to moment I think would expand our capacity to express, to create from moment to moment to moment because there is that muscle that has been flexed that my expressions are going to be received and when our expressions the psyche of the soul of our expressions know that even as they are coming out of the birth canal, it, there is someone there to receive. Um, there is more of the excitement, <laughs> I think, to, to come out, to, to birth through, to, to say hi, here I am to the world because it's like I, I know that there's someone on the other side receiving me as opposed to like, oh, there's this thing, there's this urge, there's this life force that wants to come through, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be received. So I'm not sure that I want to come out right now. Uh, and it makes me think of work, like um, work meaning our life work. The work that we are here to do in this lifetime, in this at this point of time, this season of our life, like when we flex this muscle of being able to receive ourselves, I feel there is such a direct correlation to the life force impulse of this is what I'm excited to create in this moment and so I'm just going to create it like no no um, limitations of fear and doubt like in my way um, it's just a penetration through you know um, yeah and it at a quantum level at a tiny molecular level it's like in each moment receiving ourselves as we are and not expecting of ourselves to be at a certain state in order to be received but rewiring that and in each moment in each flavor each mood each feeling each thought each state receiving ourselves as we are.